Hey everybody, what's up? So, I am uh, down by the beach, uh, across from Monkey Park Beach, or Monkey Bottom Park. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna be checking out this sign, this historical sign real quick, and then we're gonna go do a ghost investigation on the beach. And then I might go into the woods over there. We'll see, but let's just read the sign real quick. Let's give it some background. There's another one of these over there we'll look at. So, near here, Major General John Ely Wool. There's a fort not far from here, named after him. Uh, troops, President Lincoln, Salmon P. Chase, Secretary of Treasury, and Edwin M. Santon, Secretary of War, watched the movement from a ship in Hampton Roads with Confederate troops and withdrew out of the wool. Washington was surrendered to him by Mayor W. Lamb. That was in 1962 this little sign was put up. But that's the landing site and surrender of Norfolk. There's like an upside down star on it too. <laughs> a pentagram. Let's check out the uh, other sign and then we'll grab my equipment and go check out the beach. There's the beach. I can't see nothing put the lights out on that pier but let's go check out let me grab my stuff now and we'll just go over there check out the other sign hold on okay so the second sign Operation Torch 1942 the first major if you'd like to read all that that's pretty cool more pentagrams on it, of course. That's cool. All right, let's go do an investigation over on this beach. And then maybe over in the woods over here. See how it goes. All right, once I get some stuff set up, I'll start filming again. Okay. All the posts for the tennis ball courts. So the stories of a shadow person come in to warn of a storm. We're supposed to have a storm tomorrow, so I'll keep doing this. Maybe we'll catch him. I think I saw him the last time I was doing an investigation on the beach down that way. Maybe a little more than half a mile down the beach that way. So that's the pier and stuff. Yeah, this helps having new batteries in my flashlight too. All right, well, I'm gonna set up some stuff probably right here, and we'll see if we catch anything. We got full moon tonight. I did see somebody, they pulled in right after I pulled in the parking lot there and parked like right near me, so I had to move my car. And I don't see anybody on the beach right now. All right, let's set some stuff up. First things first, I will set up T2. And then REM pod, and yeah, we'll just see if we get anything. And we'll take out the voice recorder. Oh, I hear a dirt bike, hopefully, they're not coming up the beat.
Alright. Lights out. Gorilla radio. So, I have plenty of light I can see, but. Oh. Immediately. Uh, I don't think it's wind. Okay, well, that's a good sign. Let's see. Anybody like to step out of the shadows and show yourself? I don't think it's my battery. My battery should not be dead. I, I have only used this one other time with a new battery. You know what I'll do is I'll change the setting even. No, it's working properly. That's just me. Change it. Okay, so three or four inches from it should go off. Could you set that off if you're here? So that might have just all been the way it was set. I don't know. We'll see. There's another device down there. Could you set that off? Well, definitely hear people. There might be people walking around. It's pretty nice out tonight. Oh. Okay, could you stop? If you're here, you can move away to let me know you're here. I'm also looking out at the sky too, because I've caught a UFO around here before. This thing's going nuts, and I don't think it's the wind. Could you stop that? Just so I know you're here. Whoops. All right, well. There is somebody walking on the beach. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, I don't know, maybe it is the battery. I'm gonna shut this off and turn it back on. I don't know. Seems to be working fine, so maybe that is. I just heard a big beep. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. I don't think I'm supposed to be on the beach at night. <clears throat> just a plane. But I'm surprised this is going off this much. Let's see, I have another K2. Um, could you stop the REM pod if you are here? Or maybe set this device off on the ground? Yeah, I have backup mode. Nope, still just going off constant. It's not really like windy. Let's try and fix it. Okay, working fine. All right, well, 
Maybe it is just like too windy or too much vibration from waves or something. But I don't know, that's weird. Let's see, it's not doing anything now, so if you'd like to, could you set off this device in front of me, that blinking red, the light that changes colors and the wire, it's a little red light out in front here. Or either one of them, it doesn't matter. There's three devices out. I might end up going over into the woods just because I already did have somebody walk past dressed in all black too so it did look like a shadow person for a moment. I just kind of freaked out. Let's see if we can see anyone walking. I don't see anybody. But when I saw what I thought was a shadow person was standing right against the uh, shore of the ocean. So, I'm going to keep my eye peel for a moment here. And nothing on REM pod now. That's weird. I mean, I have two other devices next to the red light here. Could you set one of those off? getting anything now that's so it shows my REM pod is working um, I believe my K2 is working let's see yep could you touch this little red light out in front of me here huh all right well that might be battery now is that my battery dying No, it's not my battery dying because it would keep doing that. It would keep going bean or bean. Let's shut it off and try again. Yeah, that might be the battery. But try one more time. Oh, not the battery, because it would already be doing the alarm. Well, that's interesting. Give me my flashlight. I'm going to back way up so you can't be me stomping or anything. Could you set this off again for me? The red light out in front of me, or that little green light? I'm not going to be here very long because I plan on going over to uh, the park across the street. Monkey Bottom Park. No. What if uh, I count to three? Will you set the REM pod off again? One, two, three. No. All right, well, we'll hang out for a few moments. All right, well, nothing now. So. I'm not saying, because uh, my battery would have already said it was going out. So that was pretty good. Could you set off that REM pod again, the red light out in front of me here? I'll give you a few more moments and then I'm going to go over to the woods and we'll try over there. I know uh, this, this had a lot of ship landings right around here and some shipwrecks and stuff. I've heard the Willoughby spit ghost before. People have seen him walking around the beach before a storm. Well, we have a big storm coming tomorrow, so...
figured I'd come out and just see if I could contact you. If you'd like to say anything, go ahead and touch that red light over there. All right, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna set you up here and we'll do an EVP. I'll go set it on my backpack. So. There we go. Hello, I'm Ryan. What's your name? people seen you on this beach before? Do you warn people that there's storms coming? Was it you touching the red light over there? All right, let's listen back. Let's just see if it says anything. Just waves, all, that's all I hear so far. I did hear something there. Alright, well, I'm going to be leaving. I'm going to be going over to the woods. If you'd like to follow me over there, I'm going to pack this up. Since you haven't done anything else. If it was you do it touching the REM pod, thank you.
All right, I'm gonna pause this here, pack this up, and head across the street into the woods, and we'll do another small investigation. Uh, it just shows that my REM pod battery wasn't dying, so that was something. If it was you, could you touch my REM pod again? All right, next time you see me, we'll be in the woods. Okay, so. Packed up and I'm walking off the beach. I just like to try and film everything just in case. But yeah, let's go over to the woods and see if I get anything over there. Got a creepy feeling once I stopped recording there for a second. Of course. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so before I went over to the woods, this is the Sarah Constant Shrine. The shrine commemorates Susan Constant, the flagship fleet carrier, the first English settlers to Virginia, 1607. Sarah Constant, Susan Constant, uh, 121 ton vessel built in 1605 uh, the voyage for Spain company London jeez that's cool Sixteen oh seven, the erected cross claiming land at England explored James River for suitable settlement and the site planted the first permanent English colony at Jamestown on May 14, 1607 that's pretty cool all right, let's head over into some woods. Um, yeah, it's really right down the road over there. I will be back. Okay, so we're at the little woods that I wanted to go to. Can't even see it. But it does have a fence. So hopefully there's an opening I can just go through. Yeah, this is all fenced off and just too thick. I don't think I can go in there. Creepy. Yep, definitely spooky. You can hear the highway and stuff, but let's just get up here more. There is a school over there, but that's a big fence. I don't think I'm going to be able to go in there. see any uh, no trespassing why I want to go in the woods <laughs> all right well that's kind of shot maybe I should just try one over here I don't want to go any closer to the school let's see if there is a gate over here I think there is might be a path or something I don't see why you wouldn't be able to go into the woods behind the school. It's definitely scary. That's cool. It's definitely an old growth forest. Jeez. It's like almost midnight too, so I don't think I'll get in trouble. If I do, I'll just leave. Dude, there's six foot fence all the way around this thing. With thorns all over it. I don't know if I want to go in here if I could. The marriage, Nature site. Oh, 
I don't want to get the Charles Hughes Maritime Forest. It is locked. But that's cool. Hey, I could, well, geez, there's thorns. If I could go in here, I would. It looks super spooky. Definitely creepy. Okay, well. It's all fenced off and I'm not getting prosecuted for going in there and jumping a fence. There's probably cameras on the school and the school's right there, so. Um, yeah, maybe back to another part of the beach. I'm going to try a different part of the beach and then wrap this up. See if we get anything else. I might as well film some more of this. Very cool. I'll have to call the number and uh, see if I can go in there at some point. I don't know if they'd let me in at night to go do an investigation, but possibly. But at least now I know. All right, I will be back. We'll go back to a part of the, a different part of the beach and see if we can catch any shadow people or maybe even UFOs. Especially around here, I've caught one before. So, all right, see you in a bit. Okay, so before we go, I won't set anything up, but I'm gonna come close to the woods over here. Oh. Definitely creepy woods, man. Um, I'm just gonna run like a minute EVP, see if I can get anything, and then go over to a different part of the beach. <sighs> okay. Let's see. All right, I'm just gonna hold this out and ask a couple questions. If you'd like to speak into this. Hello, I'm Ryan. Could you give me your name? Hey, how old you are, or if anybody is with me, hello. All right, well, if anybody wanted to say anything, you could talk into this device in my hand. All right, let's listen back. Okay, nothing I heard. But next spot, different part of the beach. Maybe we'll get lucky. I'll be back. Okay, I'm at a different part of the beach. 
uh, I'll have to call the number, I guess, for the other part of those woods. I didn't realize the whole thing was fenced off and, like, locked up. But, there's another cool beach. We'll just go check out. See if anything happens. Hello. Yeah, let's go way down to the water. See if we can catch anything. Let's not go too close to the water, but far enough away from the houses. Okay, let's see. Oh, I just seen a big flashlight out over the ocean. What was that? Beautiful night. It's nice and warm, full moon. So, yeah, I definitely want to get in those woods. I'll have to call the number and figure that out. But for now, let's set some stuff up. There's that light on the horizon again. Must just be like a ship. All right, hold on a moment here. Try to run the pod in and everything again, and I'm, I'm gonna take some pictures this time. Okay. Grandpod is set up. Let me set up the camera and the K2s. Okay. I'm gonna take out the camera and just take a few snapshots and see what we catch. That is my S box. Maybe we'll try that in a minute. If anybody would like to say anything, there's a red light right here. You can make this device go off. Or there's other devices there you could make go off. They just change color. They won't hurt you. I'm going to take a picture. If you'd like to be in the picture. Well, maybe I should try an S-Box. Uh, I'll take a look. Oh no, I'm just moving. Okay, well. I'm also going to try another EVP. So, hi, I'm Ryan. Um, if you'd like to say anything, I have a device here that you could speak into. Or you could touch this red light out in front of me. Alright, I'm going to hit record on this and you could speak into this device. I'm going to put it down right here. Hello, I'm Ryan. If you'd like to say your name, you could say it right there. We're not far from a big ship landing site. Did you pass away near here? I'm 
Okay, thank you. Yeah, you can keep touching that. Let's see. Let's listen back to this while this is going off. There's two other devices in front of that. If you touch those, they should go off too. And I have another device that plays, sweeps through the radio. You could possibly talk through that if, would you like me to use that? Just stop making the REM pod go off and just move away from it. Or not. <laughs> Alright, so you do want me to use the radio? You can make it go off now if you do. Just touch that thing again. Alright. Well, first let me listen back to this. <clears throat> Oops, wrong button. Let's listen. Oh, this is still going off. Hello, I'm Ryan. If you'd like to say your name, you can say it right there. That was me just grabbing the flashlight. I asked that the REM pod went off. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you can keep touching that. Okay, not much on there, but I'll have to review this again. Um, Those other two devices on the ground there, could you touch one of those? Or maybe show yourself? Could you... Could you touch that so it beeps like three times? Alright, can you move away? Don't touch it at all, move away. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm going to try one last thing and then I'm probably going to be getting out of here. This is the annoying part, but I haven't done it in a while and it does sometimes work. The uh, spirit box here. S -box. S box here. And I'll do um, AM. Scanning AM. All right, let's scan it. Hello, uh, I'm Ryan. Can you say your name? Or could you say my name back to me? Mm. 
I might have heard Steve. Is it Steve? Come sit, Jake. Yeah, it's a lot more random on uh, AM station. my name. I'm Ryan. Or could you make that REM pod light up even more, different colors and stuff? getting a creepy feeling right now. I'm going to shut this off. Did you want to say anything before I do? You've heard rumors of a shadow person, the Willoughby Spit Ghost. Stop this. Hmm. That's interesting. Would you like to show yourself? Or make that go off again? On the count of three, make that REM pod go off. One, two, three. <laughs> well, okay, now stop. If you could just move away so I know you're here. Hmm. Thank you. Awesome. Well, that's why I got chickens again. It's not really cold out, it's like 60 something. But uh, I'm going to set this up and then just walk over by the ocean over there, see if I get anything.
All right, well, <clears throat> I'm gonna do one more EVP and then I'm gonna be wrapping this up. I'm gonna take a picture if you wanna stand right there, actually, I'm gonna do that first. You just stand right there. Well, I take a picture with the flashlight on. Another picture. And uh, one more. If you stand there, thank you very much. Alright, well, I'll have to review these pictures, but I if it would focus. I don't see anything there, but yeah, I'm gonna have to look at these back at the house. Alright, well last thing is an EVP. If you'd like to speak into this, I'm just gonna hold this close to my chest because it's kinda windy. And I'll try not to move. So you just come close to this thing in my hand and uh, speak into it. I'm Ryan. What's your name? How old are you? Did you used to live around here? Alright, let's listen back real quick. Oops. Speak into it. I'm Ryan, what's your name? Okay, well, I'm going to be packing up and leaving. If you'd like to say goodbye, you can make the REM pod there go off. Neither of these went off, but I do believe my REM pod's working correctly. Uh, so I have gotten some things to at least answer, kind of. If you were here, can you make that go off one more time? Because I'm going to be leaving. you enjoyed some of the history on these whoop, these areas funny it's not going off at all now sorry okay and uh, yeah we'll be back with more I might get permission to go into those woods uh, yeah I don't think we saw any shadows this time but uh, I had fun I will be doing this again soon uh, 
I'll keep this rolling until we're out of here, just in case. Because it seems like when I stop filming is when really freaky things will happen to me. Let me pack this up. I'll pause and then uh, start my way out of here. Hold on. All right, let's get off the beach and uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for all the subscribers. Check out some of my other videos on Ghost Hunts and More playlist. Um, you know, like, share, subscribe if you would like to. I will have more investigations coming up. I do plan on going to Fort Monroe again and. Uh, there's a certain lighthouse I want to get to. Uh, the Thurgood House is another old historical house. Probably 1700s that it was built. Um, I'm just going to keep filming me. Just in case. So. Yeah, didn't see any shadowy figures this time. That was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, catch me on the next one. I'll possibly be going live again pretty soon. That was really fun at the last live, just chit-chatting and telling some stories I have. Um, yeah, you guys have a good one. And Sir Spookfest is out.